welcome to this new DIY Engineers video. Today I'll show you how to install, set up, and test your Raspberry Pi camera on a Raspberry Pi 5. So let's get started. If you go to the Raspberry Pi website, you can see they have a wide variety of different cameras. I go to the camera and display section. They have the global shutter camera that is specialized for fast motion and machine vision applications. They have the Raspberry Pi high quality camera that has a 12.3 megapixel camera that can be used with interchangeable lenses. The Raspberry Pi Camera 3, which is the classic compact camera, is the latest one. It has a 12 megapixel sensor and it comes in a variety of different variants. They have the standard variant, the wide field of vision variant, and then they have the same different angles for the NOIR, which basically means no infrared filter, meaning it gives you the ability to see in the dark with infrared lighting. For this video, I'm going to be using the Raspberry Pi Camera Module 2, which has an 8 megapixel sensor that is more than enough for most applications. So here we have the camera, front and back. This is the autofocus tool and we have two cables. Now, the autofocus tool you will use to rotate clockwise or counterclockwise as needed to define the right focus for your camera. Now these cables to one of the ends, it's the same. The other end, one is for the Raspberry Pi 5 and the other is for older Raspberry Pi. So you need to make sure to use the 22 way half millimeter pitch connection for the Raspberry Pi 5. Here we put the right end, the wider end on the camera. And then we put the narrower end on the Raspberry Pi 5. For that, we lift the tabs as well, same thing as we did with the camera on the Raspberry Pi. And once it's secured, we push it down to secure it. So then with that, we have it properly connected to the Raspberry Pi and to the camera. Here I show you how it looks with the active cooler. And I'm using a case that I've used for other projects. It's a link in the description. And you can see that you can fit everything else with the active cooler, the camera, and I really like it. And the camera holder is something I 3D printed myself. All right, so here I am on my Raspberry Pi 5. And again, I'm running Raspberry Pi OS 64-bit. We'll start testing the camera by opening the command terminal. And we'll type in RPI cam hyphen hello. And for this test, I'll have on my phone an image of the DIY Engineers logo. We'll just be looking at that and it'll be a quick preview. And that had a little bit of lag because I'm running this through a remote desktop. The next test we'll do is taking a picture with a camera that will be using the RPI cam still command. So we do RPI cam still O and then desktop slash image.jpg. This basically will save the file of the picture into the desktop. So let's take a look at the image. Now let's go ahead and run a command to record video. So we'll do RPI cam vid. So very similar to what we just did. Instead of still, we'll change this to vid. VID space O desktop same. We'll call this video dot MP4. Let's take a look at the video. Now, one thing you might notice is that the video didn't look good, right? That's driven by the fact that the camera is not focused. So really all it takes is to use the focus tool and adjust the focus based on the specific application you have. Now, what if we want to control the camera using Python? Well, that's pretty simple. We go here, programming, I like Genie, actually. Maximize, and I'm pasting a code that it's available on the raspberrypi.org website. So I save it. I'll just throw this on the desktop with everything else. We'll just call us test one. And so what this will do, just looking at, it's gonna import the Pi camera module and sleep. 
it'll call the camera, it'll start the preview, and it'll show it for five seconds and then close. So the exact same thing we just did, but it's going to be run through this Python code. So if I go ahead and run uh, the code, it'll be the exact same result as before. I guess I should have saved it as a dot Python code. So dot pi. And then we'll go ahead and run the code. Now let me change this to 60 and I'll use that to give me some time to adjust the focus. It's a little bit better, but we can see that things further have a better focus. So let's keep trying. It's a lot better. And again, you can play with the tool to adjust to the focus distance that you might need. Now, there are other things you could also do for whatever reason you need to rotate, flip the image, etc. You would have to add the transform part of lip camera and you would need to run whatever command you want. In this case, I'm going to do horizontal flip. So we save that and let's give it a try. So as you can tell, the image is flipped horizontally. If I wanted to do just vertically, and if you wanted to do both, just enter both in the parentheses. So let's save that and run it. As you can see, this is a true 180 degree flip by flipping horizontally and vertically. Now, if you wanted to take pictures via Python, this is what you would need. Import PyCamera, and then just use the command start and capture file. We'll call this new image, and then close. My Python code is actually already in the desktop, so I don't need to call out the desktop. I'll just delete that. Hit save, and I can run the code. If we go to the desktop, you'll see here, new image. And to record video, we simply need to make one change on the fourth line. Again, it won't show desktop since we're already in the desktop. If you had your test file in another folder, that would be different. But in this case, I just put the file name and nothing else since I'm already in the folder in which I'm going to be saving the video. And I'll set this to 10 seconds. And yet we'll see the preview. So save that and let's run it. I finish running and now if I go to the desktop I should be able to check out that video. Now this is barely scratching the surface. There's a ton you can do with your Raspberry Pi and Raspberry Pi camera. See my videos on how to use CV Zone face recognition with Raspberry Pi 5, and also a cool project with a picture frame, which uses face recognition to determine which pictures and videos to show. Other than that, that's the video. I hope you liked it. If you did, give us a thumbs up and subscribe. See you in the next one. Bye.